Welcome back to another episode of Connecting Pathways. In this episode, we'll be discussing on some of the techniques to handle social anxiety. Pay attention to how often the embarrassing situations you are afraid of actually takes place. You may notice that these scenarios you fear usually don't come to pass. When embarrassing situations do happen, remind yourself that your feelings will pass and you can handle them until they do. Most people around you either don't notice or don't care as much as you think or they are more forgiving than you assume. Although Social anxiety disorder generally requires help from medical experts or practice psychotherapists. You can also try some of these techniques to handle situations that are likely to cause social anxiety. Learn stress reduction skills. Get physical exercise. Get enough sleep. Eat a healthy, well-balanced diet. Limit or avoid caffeine. Participate in social situations by reaching out to people with whom you feel comfortable. First, consider your fears to identify what situations causes the most anxiety. Then gradually practice these activities until they cause you less anxiety. Begin with small steps by setting daily or weekly goals in situations that are in overwhelming. The more you practice, the less anxious you will feel. Consider practicing these situations. Eat with a close relative, a friend or an acquaintance in a public setting. Purposefully make eye contact and return greetings from others or be the first to say hello. Give someone a compliment. Get directions from a stranger. Show an interest in some others. Ask about their homes, children, grandchildren, their hobbies or travels, for instance. Call a friend that you are more comfortable with to make plans. At first, being in a social situation when you are feeling anxious is challenging. As difficult or painful as it may seem initially, don't avoid situations that trigger your symptoms. By regularly facing these kind of situations, you will continue to build and reinforce your coping skills. Prepare for conversations. Focus on personal qualities that you like about yourself. Practice relaxation exercises. Learn stress management techniques. Set realistic social goals. Let's see some of the coping mechanisms. Routinely reach out to your friends or family members. Join a group that offers you opportunities to improve communication and public speaking skills. Do pleasurable or relaxing activities such as hobbies when you feel anxious. Over time, these coping methods can help you control your symptoms and prevent a relapse. Remind yourself that you can get through this that your anxiety is short-lived and that the negative consequences you worry about so much rarely comes to pass. With this, we have come to an end of this episode. Stay tuned for our next episodes. Thank you.